This screencast is to show you how to include read aloud audio for a new quiz. So I've already created my new quiz and the first step is to make sure all your questions and stimuli are ready to go. I would not advise recording as you go, but instead finishing up the typed text and then doing what you can to add the audio. So to add the audio, unfortunately, Blend does not have a built-in audio recorder. So you're going to have to use an online recorder or a recorder on your phone, such as this one. So what I like to do is usually I like to split my screen so that half my screen is the new quiz and half the screen is my audio recorder. And I'm just going to read the first item here. I'm just portions of it. Please read the poem below, then answer the questions on the right that pertain to this passage. How to Eat Mexican Food by Gary Soto. Rule number one, don't pick up the tortilla with your fork. Rule number two, and so on. So when I'm ready, I can click this stop button here, and then I can click save, and it pulls up my hard drive asking me where I want to save it and what I want to name it. I would name it the title of my quiz and then something like this is for question three, this is for the stimuli, and then save. And then I can just keep going down my list and refreshing and it gives me a new recorder here so that I can um, record the next question. What is the author's purpose of using the literary device for rule number two? And remember, I have to do it item by item, so I'm going to save this. I'm going to name it Read Aloud for New Quiz 3.1 point, maybe like prompt. Then I can refresh, and then I can read each answer choice. The author uses a metaphor to help convey the taste of the overpowering spiciness of the food. Then save. 3.1 point, this is answer choice A, refresh, and you get the idea. I will keep recording for each item and naming as I go along. So that's the online recorder there. You can really use any that will save something to your hard drive. And then when it's time to embed the audio, click edit as normal. And then I would put the audio either at the very top or underneath my instructions but you're going to click on the mountain, click on audio, click on browse, and then find all the things that you have just recorded. So this was my stimulus. I'm gonna import that. And then once it's ready, I can do the other items here. So I'm going, oh, I'm gonna save it. So let me save at the bottom here. Oh, it already, so there it embedded it. So I'm going to click edit here. Same thing here. Maybe I want it above the questions. I'm going to hit return, put a little space for my media, click the mountain, audio, and then I had the prompt, import, and then I'm just going to keep going down the line here. So you're going to have to do it item by item, and you're going to have to use an external recorder because New Quizzes does not have um an, a recorder built in so for some reason i don't think it saved my uh 3.1 point a yep it did not save it but i can go ahead and re-record that but i'll cancel out here and i'm going to return and then i'm going to check it from student view I'll reset student view just in case so I can see what it looks like. But the read aloud should be there for the items. So I see the read aloud here when I begin my quiz in the screencast. I showed you question three. I have my read aloud here. I have the read aloud for this question here. And then again, I'm going to have to do a read aloud for each question here. Good luck.